Hello and welcome to a new segment on This Week in Linux I like to call Twill Talks. This is going to be a little bit different from what I'd normally do, a little bit less edited just for time's sake. So basically let's talk about Ubuntu 10.10 .10 and how they're planning to remove support for processors older than the i686. I've had so many people in my chat room, in comments, messages, everywhere, asking me what's going to happen. I use the i386 version of Ubuntu, what's going to happen for me? If you're using a processor that was created back before 1995, you might be affected. If your computer is newer than that, chances are you're okay. If you have a Pentium Pro, Pentium 2, 3, 4, blah 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 onward. If you have any one of the multitude of AMD processors that have been made in the last 10 years or so, you're probably okay. To be 100% honest, when I went to college I bought a new computer. It was a Pentium 3, so... <laughs> So exactly 10 years ago, a computer was up to spec to be able to run Ubuntu 10.10. .10. If you do have a computer older than that and you want to continue using Ubuntu, you've got three years left. Use 10.04 for the next three years, and then you've got to find something else to do. I hate to say it, but at some point it just had to happen. I mean, they're supporting so many different architectures that keeping up with every single one of them just makes the release cycle take that much longer. So basically, to answer the question, am I going to be affected by this i686 only thing, most people probably not. Like I said, anything from the Pentium Pro, Pentium 2 onward, you're just fine. That said, if you have a VIA processor, you might have a problem. The C3 is an i586. Anything made after 2002, you will be okay. But, for the most part, there is a very quick and easy way to check if this is going to affect you. You go into the terminal and you type in uname-a, and it will tell you if you're running on an i586, 686, AMD64, anything like that. Now, the positive thing I do see about this is one less architecture is one less thing to test, means that they can focus more of their energy on newer platforms, newer PCs. I've heard a lot of people having trouble out of newer hardware and complaining about Ubuntu based on that. Well, now they can devote a little bit more time to that. But yeah, that's probably all I should say about it. I mean, Ubuntu is taking a step forward. They're going to be phasing out some older hardware, some stuff that's been gone for a long time now. If you're still running this old hardware, you have three years to get moved to something new or to find a distribution you're more comfortable with. Three years ought to be enough time for anybody to learn a new distribution. But that's all I've got to say. Thanks for talking to me a little while. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.